guys, welcome back. It is the same week, but a different day. Instead of my heavy sweaters, today I'm wearing a dress because it's really warm up today. And I love seasons and I love living in Buffalo, but this is the hardest part of the year, like this and then between like uh, winter and uh, spring as well. Like we get these very huge variations in temperature all like within a week. So literally yesterday, it was like, well, I shouldn't say yesterday, whatever, two days ago, it was like 58 degrees out. Now it's like 80 degrees out and uh, it really wreaks havoc on everyone's sinuses. So <laughs> if you're looking to move up north or to the east coast, just prepare yourself for that because I get a lot of people or patients who are like, oh, I've never had allergies until I moved here. And I'm like, yep, welcome. <laughs> So anyway, today I'm going to go through how I pack. So I've put I've put up two videos already about what I pack um, in both like my carry-on, my suitcase, my park bag, etc. Um, but today I'm going to just go through the process of how I do this packing. So um, I'm winging it a little bit like I always do, but we'll just go get started. And I would imagine I don't have much to say, but as we know, I somehow always say that and I still end up with like 20 minute videos. So... <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I do, and if I can ever figure out how to take screen videos of my phone, um, because I'm not like cool enough to figure that out yet, I will show you one of these. So what I do is I plan our trips. Um, obviously, I said that before, I plan all our trips. And what I do usually about like 30 days before um, is I write out a whole itinerary. So I'm kind of old school. I actually still like carrying paper itineraries with me. Um, and uh, I, I put like our confirmation codes on there and all that stuff. So I print it. I don't usually like actually carry it with me, but I just like having it with me just in case my Disney experience goes down. So sometimes I'll take photos of it or I'll, I used to, I don't do it as much as I used to and I probably should because I feel like my Disney experience drains your battery when you're there, but I used to like print out all of our plans for the day and then cut them into like little sheets and put them in my wallet, which it did come in handy, but now I'm lazy and I don't want to do that anymore. So, so I write out my whole itinerary and again, if I can figure out how to film on my phone, I will. So, um, so I print this and it has like the main confirmation number our flight number that type of stuff and then i go by each day so let's say we'll go with our next trip so let's say we're leaving on november 6th which goodness knows that's i don't know what's gonna happen with that because florida's numbers are going down and guess what our numbers are going up so <laughs> we're like stuck in either direction but uh anywho so let's say so i do november 6th um and i'll say like you know uh, the census is our first day, like this is the day I put my flight information on, blah, 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 um, and what, you know, the hotel we're staying at, etc. And then I usually write out our fast passes. So fast passes aren't currently a thing. I really hope they bring them back fairly soon because the wait times have definitely gotten longer, uh, unfortunately. And so I think they should bring fast passes back. Now, I was listening to a podcast the other day where they had seen a news story come out that fast passes will be coming back soon. Um, they, I think they said next year, uh, and then it got deleted. So who knows if that was just like fake news or if Disney saw it and was like, no, we're not ready to say that yet, delete that. So one can only hope that you can do uh, fast passes because I don't like waiting in lines to be honest. <laughs> So where was I going with this? Okay, so I usually put our three fast passes, et cetera. But, and then I always put in like my a place for my outfits. So I guess in this video, I'm specifically gonna be talking about how I plan my outfits to pack. So I usually will do that. So um, I, again, disclaimer is I do not pack lightly and I'm at least a two outfit a day person. So uh, if you like to wear the same clothes like all trip long or, you know, wash your clothes in the middle of a trip or not change at all, this might not be a good video for you um, because I love to change my clothes. And there's good reason for that. So typically I change my clothes because it's so hot in Florida and especially for us who are coming down there from usually really cold weather or cooler weather, we get like really sweaty. So I like to change my clothes. So um, let's talk about travel day. So again, let's say it's November 6th. Okay, um, our flight's at I think our flight's at like six in the morning and then we're going to be going to Magic Kingdom. So this day, sometimes I'll have like three outfits um, because I have a, a travel. So 
I'll always write at my itinerary uh, travel outfits and then I usually write my mom's outfits in there too because she can't ever remember what she's wearing. And I am not a wing it person for the most part so I will go through every single day like this and plan out my outfits ahead of time and then I'll pack them accordingly. So travel day, so typically on a travel day if it's winter or whatever I'll usually wear um, sneakers because or, you know like flatter sneakers or flats because it's too cold outside there have been many times where we've come home or we've left and it has snow on the ground and so it's not necessarily fun trudging through the snow in you know like flats or flip-flops so usually we'll wear like you know like not like full-on running sneakers but just regular like I don't know other sneakers I don't know what you would call those I feel like everyone has a different name for sneakers like joggers and whatever the heck people tennis shoes but can I do still like a side note and this is why my videos are so long but like tennis shoes to me so there there's a white pair of sneakers with like a thick rubber bottom that that have my whole life I've called tennis shoes so when I hear people say tennis shoes like I only picture that type of sneaker and but people from I feel like other states are like, oh, I have my tennis shoes. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Why are you running in tennis shoes? <laughs> anyway, so we'll wear that. And then so usually I'll wear like a set of pair of jeans. And then, you know, on the top, like sometimes we'll wear spirit jerseys because I'm always cold on a plane. Um, or sometimes I'll wear the shirt that I'm planning on changing into when I get there just so it's easier to change. So then when you arrive in Florida, it's usually a little bit warmer, although not always. And I'll always, you know, like I said, if I either, if I'm not wearing my full outfit on top, then I'll switch to that. But typically I actually usually am wearing my full outfit on top unless we're flying later in the evening and I know I'm not going to be changing. So that's a long winded answer to say that I uh, usually plan on wearing my top on the plane and then like jeans or something with it. So usually when we get to the resort is when we change into shorts. Um, hopefully it's warm out when you go. And so my second outfit that I plan would definitely be that tank top with whatever shorts that I'm planning on wearing. And I try to iron them before I go because they're getting put in my carry-on, but I usually bring my wrinkle release spray with me because one time I didn't and I wore a jumper and it was so wrinkled it was awful. So <laughs> now I've learned my lesson. Anywho, and then um, if we're getting there super early in the morning, a lot of times we don't do anything in the evening specifically, but there have been times where we are going out to dinner or something like that. So my park outfit is almost always a pair of shorts and some sort of tank top. I, I don't wear t-shirts. I just don't like how t-shirts look on me uh, for the most part. Like there are a few occasions where I'll wear a t-shirt. So it's always a tank top. Even if it's cooler out, I'll wear a tank top because I will usually put a sweater or a jacket over it if I want to. Because if the sun comes out and it is warm, then it's just easy to take it off and then I feel more comfortable. So my park outfit for the day, are, like I said, almost always shorts and a tank top or a tank top and capris if it's cooler out or a tank top and jeans or something like that. So, um, and then, yeah, so shorts. And then my evening outfits. Um, so typically the evenings, we're not like, we don't go out to breakfast a lot. We don't do a lot of lunches. If we make reservations, we almost always do a sit down reservation really every day, I would say, because we go a lot. And I know a lot of people don't like sitting down at reservations because it wastes a lot of time. But for us who go all the time, we like that because it actually gives us a nice break and we like to sit down and relax and enjoy our meals. So. That being said, my evening outfits are almost always dresses. So um, whether that's um, like a dress or a jumper or a skirt or something, usually some sort of dress or skirt. And people are always like, why would you wear that Disney? Because it's uncomfortable and you have to get in out of ride sometimes. Well, it is not uncomfortable because I wear dresses or I used to wear dresses all the time to work before I started wearing scrubs to work because of COVID. So I'm most comfortable in a dress actually. I actually prefer to wear a dress. I would wear that over shorts most days, but I don't, I don't know. Sometimes it's not the most, uh, like I don't have enough dresses probably to do that. Uh, and sometimes I feel like people look at you funny when you're wearing a dress all the time, whereas in the evenings, maybe they might not notice it as much. That's really stupid. I don't know why I care what people think, but I do. So. <laughs> Uh, so we'll wear a dress and then I always, 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 always wear compression shorts under my dresses so that if I am getting in out of rides, you're actually not seeing my underwear, you're seeing my dress. And it's also good for people who chafe like me. I've, I chafe horribly bad. I'm always honest in my videos about that. And so I will wear shorts so I don't get any chafing. So that is helpful too. So essentially I go that route every single day. So the travel day, three outfits, sometimes just two if we're not doing anything in the evening. 
Um, and then, you know, like the next days I would always be like, okay, shorts and a tank top in the morning and a dress at night. And I'm not going through and just generically saying that. So the next part of me packing is that I, I will pull out these outfits before I travel. So let's say I'm doing, um, you know, I have this new like red skirt and this black tank top that I'm going to wear on my first day. So I will pull that out of my closet. I'll put it on the bed and I will like, you know, say like, this is one outfit. Now, okay, I've pulled out a few outfits and now I'm like, oh, I actually think I might wanna wear it this day instead. That's where the itinerary comes in handy. So I'll have the itinerary and for now it would be the same with the park reservation system. So, you know, let's say I'm going to Magic Kingdom on Monday, Animal Kingdom Tuesday, Hollywood Studios Wednesday, Epcot Thursday. So I pull out this red and black outfit. And I'm like, oh, this would be cute. Maybe I'll wear it on my Epcot day. And I was like, actually, I think that's more of a Magic Kingdom outfit. So I'll just switch it over there. So I do put way more thought into this than probably most people do. <laughs> so sorry, again, this may not be the video for you. Uh, and so I'll kind of go through and I don't like hard and fast say like this is the outfit I'm wearing this day until I've pulled out enough outfits for the whole trip and then I'll sort them into which day I'm going to wear them and then I come back to my itinerary and I write it down so that I don't forget what I'm wearing. So uh, I also don't just pull the outfits out, I always try them on and at the end of this video I'll show you um, just like where I do, like I do it in my mirror. I actually think I'm probably going to start taking photos of my outfits. I know a lot of other people do that. I've seen it on multiple other YouTubes or you know just like Instagram posts and I think that's a good idea because I can look at something in the mirror and think oh this looks fine and then I see it in a picture and I'm like that was horrible why did I ever pick that outfit so it's probably not a bad idea if you are genuinely concerned about what you like in photos which I take a lot of photos and we just as a family take a lot of photos um, and we print them and we share them and we do that and so like I'd like to look okay <laughs> so um, if you have like a tripod um, which I do you know you can usually get a cheap one on Amazon if you really wanted to do that and just take some photos or have someone take some photos of you just to see if you like how you look in it so I go through every day like that. And then the same thing, I'll go through with the dresses again and you know, say like, okay, so this next trip we have a California girl reservation. I always like to look a little bit nicer at the California girl. So I'll pick out one of my nicer dresses, but still one that's comfortable enough that I could wear to the park if we go after. So again, you can't park hop, which kind of, you know, like changes the things for me because I, I tend to dress poor towards one park and then maybe change in the evening towards another so if it's like flower and garden if we go to magic kingdom in the morning i'll have more of what i would consider a magic kingdom outfit and then i'll wear like something like this like a flowery dress in the evening um but that's going too far and you don't care about that <laughs> so uh you know but i usually try to like theme it after stuff like that so that's how i do it and yeah the biggest part of it is trying on clothes for me and just seeing how i look now um uh, you know my mom doesn't do this so she'll just like throw out like she'll literally pack like 20 pairs of shorts not 20 but like a good amount of shorts sometimes I'll be like oh I could always wear this short with this shirt if I wanted to wear this short with that shirt and that's fine but I'm not like that so when I get to Florida I literally pull out my my itinerary I put it on like the dresser and I look at every day usually I remember but if I look if I forget I'll look at every day and say okay I'm gonna wear this with this and these are actually the flip-flops that I used all plan on wearing with it too or the shoes or the sneakers or if I am going to a special dinner I want to make sure like I packed a nicer purse which I don't usually do because I carry too many things I usually always have my backpack but sometimes I'll carry a purse if I know I'm going to the California Grill and I'm staying in the contemporary and I know I can just go downstairs so okay sorry I just like got really panicky that I missed the window to make dining reservations for my New Year's trip because I have no concept of time and it's 97 days until we leave for a New Year's trip if we go <laughs> so so not worried about that um okay so anyway that's how I go through it I know that's a lot um usually you know if I do end up going in November I'll just add on a quick video while I'm actually packing to show you what I mean by this um because I am not going to pack now because I don't think I don't know if I'm going I shouldn't say I don't think I like 50 50 on this trip coming up so we'll see if it happens or not so um, so that's how I do it and then yeah so I go through every day like that anyway I think I was saying my mom just kind of throws things together and I don't know I don't like that so I like and especially if I do try them on and I, I make sure I like how they look or you know do I want to tuck them in or not tuck it in or that type of stuff and yeah so like I said I do kind of try to theme outfits around the parks I'm going to so Magic Kingdom I tend to go with more like classic outfits either like super girly things like 
you know, like a black skirt and a, a like a girly pink tank top. I don't know why this is what I think of when I think of Magic Kingdom or I'll go with more like traditional Disney colors. So like red and black or yellow or I'll wear a Disney tank top that I have, that type of stuff. Um, Animal Kingdom, I almost always wear some sort of animal themed clothing, whether it's just like a plain tank top and some, I have like bird shorts or you know my mom has like a zebra tank she'll always wear or we have tanks that my sister made us that have for our safari that have like our names on it um or i'll wear army green or that type of stuff um and or you know if i'm going in the evening i'll wear like a cheetah print dress or something like that i don't know why i do that but that's what i do and i like that so <laughs> and then hollywood studios um i try to usually wear at least one of the days on there or something star wars related because i like to wear star wars clothes so I have a bunch of Baby Yoda stuff right now, so um, maybe something like that, or I'll wear, I have a bunch of like Star Wars shirts, um, like I have a Mandalorian shirt, which I don't know if I'll wear in the park because I actually don't love how it fits me, um, but you know, that type of thing. And then Epcot, I almost, I think I said this before, but I really try to plan my outfits around the festivals. So if it's, uh, you know, Flower and Garden, I'm always wearing something flowery. So whether it's a flowery tank top or flowery shorts, uh, or a flowery dress and then if it's you know Christmas I'll try to wear some sort of Christmas outfit like last time I went to Epcot in December I wore my Disney Christmas dress or if it's um, food and wine uh, I guess I usually try to wear something like fallish I guess you could say so like a like a what's the word I'm like like a maroon tank or something like that so uh, I do try to do that too so I, again I think I put way more effort into my to my outfits than most people would would wear so <laughs> and then there are the occasional times which I don't often do this but I have an outfit coming up here that if I do get to back well I know I'll go back to Disney eventually when I go back to Disney eventually I will plan on wearing like just I think I was talking about earlier with for like a haunted mansion I was talking about earlier in a different video like a haunted mansion outfit that I just like to take for my Instagram so um I don't have that many Instagram followers but I still like making content for Instagram so I'll think of that so I know a few a lot of people I follow on Instagram will go to the park and they'll have like five different outfit changes so they can take all these photos which would be great if I lived there but I do not and I can only bring two suitcases when we fly southwest so I usually run out of room because my other suitcase one whole suitcase I have for clothes my other suitcase that I typically have is like all my toiletries and extras that I bring because I am like a psycho psycho go so I go overpacker um yeah so that's kind of how I go through and like pick out my clothes and so again once I go to Disney again no matter when it is I'll just add a little like addendum video to this so that you can see what exactly I'm doing so um yeah that's it so let me show you real quick like like what I just kind of do in the mirror just to see oh briefly I did talk about shoes like I I really only usually wear flip-flops in the parks which I don't know I know a lot of people are like how do you wear flip-flops in the parks my feet are telling me I don't know but my feet have gotten used to wearing flip-flops and so they're actually more comfortable to me than sneakers most times so um so typically I I have just like a bunch of flip-flops so I'll usually bring like five or six pairs and I'll just kind of mentally go through every outfit and say like, okay, I'm wearing this. So I have my black flip flops that will match. I have pink flip flops that will match this, that type of stuff. So I don't really plan the shoes to go with it because if it's raining, we'll wear different kind of shoes. Or if it's cold, I'll usually bring like a lighter pair of sneakers to wear that type of stuff. Um, and then we really only bring our running shoes when it, we're running. So I don't really wear heavy duty sneakers. Um, and I don't wear flats. Uh, my I mean, I wear flats to work all the time. I'm sure it would be fine, but I don't think they're the most comfortable shoe. So it's almost always flip flops for me. Even in the cooler weather, we'll usually wear flip flops. So. so that's how I go through that. And then I guess I'll briefly also just touch on bags. So I said it before, I almost always just carry my backpack. So I don't really pay attention when I'm bringing bag wise with me and my my bags like almost never match my outfit, but I don't really care because if I'm getting photographed, I usually have my bag on the ground, so it doesn't matter. Although I got this new black pleather bag, which I'm kind of excited for. I kind of want to buy, I told my mom, if we get back to Disney and we have time, which we probably would if we go anytime soon when the parks close kind of early, I really want to go to the Four Seasons to get Sony Clover patches to see if I can attach them to my backpack because I think that'd be really cool. So, but they don't sell the Disney Sony Clover patches online, so. And nor can I afford a Stony Clover backpack, so I got a, a cheap backpack off of, of a website called Nasty Gal, and I'm hoping I can sew patches on it. So, all right, without further ado, let's go show you my mirror real quick, and then I'll see if I can screenshot my computer or my phone to show you just quickly what my itinerary actually looks like. 
so this is my like full length mirror that I use and so usually I'll just throw an outfit on kind of like see how I look in different angles of it and see if I like it or how I would pose in it if I was going to do a photo with it which again this is really applies more to people who are trying to get Instagram posts or a Facebook post um, but that's just kind of what I do I go through that and to just look at it like that and yes this is my bedroom so um as opposed to my disney room this room is definitely more girly as you can tell by my pink walls and my pink flowers over there <laughs> okay i didn't realize i had to record a voiceover so that's what i'm going to do here <laughs> so this is just like an overview of my itinerary essentially this is an old one so you can ignore the confirmation numbers i'm not giving away any information but you can see here that i have um written you know, like our fast fast times and etc. And you can kind of see where I'm starting to write all my outfit choices in here. So, um, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Also, I just want to add real quick that I do usually pack extra outfits just in case anyone's wondering. So here you can see, you know, like I said, I'm going to wear striped short shorts and a navy tank top this day. That night's each to a glow. So it's kind of a different, a different, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the words I'm saying. A different outfit, like I wouldn't, obviously that's more of a bathing suit. And then, you know, here I'm going to a dinner. Um, so I'm going to wear this white long dress to dinner. And that, um, I guess that's about it. You can probably get the picture. Okay, so that's it for this packing video. And uh, I hope that I figured out how to do that screen one really like the right way. So um, yeah, that's it for now. And I have literally no idea what I'm going to do next week or next, yeah, next week because I'm running out of ideas. So hope I can go to Disney soon just because I literally have no video ideas left. <laughs> so I'm going to have to ask people on Instagram what they would suggest. And uh, so next week will be a surprise.